Years ago, E.M. Bounds wrote a book called The Weapon of Prayer. And in this book, he says, that prayer is a weapon for us, but a failure to pray is a denial of God, a denial of his existence, a denial of his involvement in the affairs of humanity. And so as, as believers, as followers of Jesus, to say we're followers of Jesus and not pray is tantamount to just denying that he even exists. But we don't wanna do that. We do believe that God is involved in our lives. We do believe in the power of prayer. And we also believe in the power of the prayer of agreement. The Bible talks about the prayer of agreement. We're gonna take a moment and pray for Ukraine. We're gonna pray specifically for the church in Ukraine. Every Sunday, we typically take time and pray for other churches right here in our city. But today, there are people that are part of our family that are suffering right now, that are facing a lot of difficulty right now. And we wanna pray that they be strengthened, that their faith be strengthened. In just a moment, Pastor Mark is gonna come and lead us in, in that prayer. But I wanna encourage you with something about the prayer of agreement. I never wanna talk down to you, but I also don't wanna miss an opportunity to remind us of some very simple things. Agreement is not listening. That's just hearing, that's listening. Agreement is like when you're doing tug of war and you have the rope in your hands, everybody grabs the rope and pulls together. You don't just stand there and allow the rope to go through and somebody else pulls. Well, Mark's gonna be the anchor and he's gonna pull this rope and what we wanna do is by faith, grab that rope as he's praying and let's pray the prayer of agreement for the people and the church of Ukraine. Would you agree with me? Uh, Lord Jesus, we pray for the church in Ukraine now. We ask you, God, to protect them. Yes, Lord. We ask you, God, to give them comfort. Yes, yes. We ask you, Lord, to use them as a powerful witness for you. We've seen videos of them worshiping you in subways and other places while bombs are going off. What a powerful testimony. We pray, Lord, for those who don't know you, that they will see the witness of your church in the Ukraine. Yes, Lord. Use that in a powerful way. As we've been studying Esther, you reminded us of that verse in Proverbs that the king's heart is like channels of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he wishes. And so we ask you, Lord, for your hand to be on President Zelensky yes, in, the, in Ukraine. That you will give him strength and wisdom, wisdom and protect him, Lord. <clears throat> we pray for President Putin. <laughs> we just ask you, God, to move in his heart. Bring somebody who will speak to him like yes. Esther did. Yes. <clears throat> Bring somebody, Lord, to speak to Putin, to give him some wisdom, to speak words of peace. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, our peace and our hope is securely in your sovereignty. Yes, That's right. We know, Jesus, that you are in control of all events happening in the world. <clears throat> so we are not worried, we are not afraid. We have our confidence in you, Jesus. We're asking you to do what you have done for thousands of years, to take what the enemy has meant yes, for evil and right. to turn yes, it for Jesus. good. And we pray Amen. this in the name of Jesus. Jesus, name. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I don't